So guys, in this video, we'll be doing something really interesting. We'll be building a complete to-do system using Golang. There are two parts to this. One is the .tpl file, which is the front end, uh, which we won't be building in this uh, tutorial. I'll give you the link of that file. And it's basically HTML, but in a .tpl format. Um, and uh, the other part is obviously uh, building the entire backend for this in Golang. That's the one that we want to cover because this is the Golang specific video. Uh, like I said, the .tpl file will be available to you in the description box below. You can take the link and download it and use it in your project. And uh, as you can see on my screen, this is the to-do list, right? So uh, we can add things like buy a bike, for example. And you can add things to this to-do uh, to list. You can edit them, pick up milk and bread, for example. And you can also delete things from this to-do list. So it's a complete CRUD system, but in the context of a to-do list. So if you're planning uh, or if you're wanting to enhance your uh, knowledge in Golang, then this is the right video for you. So we'll be building a complete backend uh, for a to-do system in Golang in this video. So let me take you to my draw.io window and show you uh, the entire approach that we'll be following. So we'll first uh, go into our go slash src folder and then we'll go into our uh, we'll create a directory for the new project and then we'll mod in it where, uh, where uh, we'll create a go.mod file which will create which will have our, all our third party packages then we'll go uh, go get use, using the go get command we'll get all the packages that we want to use for example in this case we want to use some packages uh, for the uh, mongodb that we'll be using uh, along with golang and then inside our main.go file, we'll create a main.go file and then we'll have our func main inside that. We'll define our routers and uh, then we'll have to write the specific functions with the respective functions that we'll be defining later on. Then we'll define our structs and models, the models that we'll uh, use to work with Golang, uh, with uh, MongoDB. Then we'll connect uh, to our database. We'll use the function, we'll write the function for that. Then we'll define the functions for all these route handlers, right? And then we'll, uh, after we've done and the entire coding, we'll uh, use the go build command and then we'll use the run main.go command. So uh, on the other side, on the right side, uh, these are our routes. We'll have four different routes. Um, one is a slash get, slash post, slash id put and slash id delete. These get, post, put, delete are our methods and these are our routes. And uh, so uh, each of these routes, we won't be using postman to test them out. We'll instead use a renderer. Uh, it's an, another library that we'll use and that will render uh, aspects of our .tpl file, the template file, so uh, so that we will be able to see, uh, you know, the, the data coming from each of the routes on the screen itself. And then uh, we'll have these four different functions. Like I said, in this uh, part, we'll define these functions. So, firstly, we'll uh, point our routers to these four functions, and then we'll define uh, these four functions. So, fetch to dos, which will get the list of all the to dos. Then we'll have our create to dos function. We'll have our update to dos and delete to dos. So, these four functions are uh, the functions that we'll have apart from our uh, func main and that's how we'll proceed so now uh, i'll take you to the powershell uh, or you can uh, run the same commands on your terminal if you are on mac or on uh, ubuntu it doesn't matter the commands will be the same so the commands that i'll run on my powershell will be exactly the same and then we'll start uh, uh, writing some code in the vs code you can be using any other co uh, text uh, editor like notepad plus plus or anything else but i'm using vs code in this video so if you have vs code it'll work out really well uh, so i'll see you in the next video Thank you.